PM 2.5 AQI currently in Anand Vihar, Delhi is 676. PM 10 AQI currently in Anand Vihar, Delhi is 807. So the one thing which I infer from this is the condition is hazardous. But the other thing that puts me to scratch my head is what is actually PM 2.5 or PM 10? I mean, what do they signify? So I'll let you know what actually is PM 2.5 or PM 10. But before that, we need to know what actually is AQI. AQI stands for Air Quality Index. As the name says Air Quality Index, it means a rank which defines the quality of air. Now, how is this AQI calculated? It depends upon country to country. I mean, there might be some countries which take in consideration some parameters. There might be other countries which take in consideration other parameters. So, the AQI for one country may vary uh, in context to the AQI of other country. Now, in specific, if I talk about AQI of India, how is it calculated? So, the government agencies suffer it calculates AQI depending on eight major pollutants. Now, what are these eight major pollutants? They are SO2, NO2, PM2.5, PM10, CO, ozone, ammonia, lead. So, the, the contribution of these pollutants helps them to define a particular AQI that is the index of that particular region. Now what, what they actually do is, they collect a sample air, you know, they have that air sample and depending on that air sample at that particular moment of time, they see the contribution of all these eight major uh, pollutants and they put up a score, which we often see. That is AQI score is this, AQI score is that. Now, now the other thing which comes into picture, uh, as I talked in the start of the video, what is PM 2.5 or PM 10? Now PM, PM as we all know it stands for Prime Minister, right? Yes, but not in terms of pollution. So, uh, so PM actually stands for Particulate Matter. Particulate matter, I mean all those particles, all those pollutants whose size is less than that figure. If I talk about PM 2.5, it means all those particulate matter, all those particles whose size was less than 2.5 micrometer. If I talk about PM 10, all those particulate matter particles whose size was less than or equal to 10 micrometer. So now one more thing which we hear, uh, which we just hear in all those news that PM 2.5 is hazardous. Now why, why do they say this thing? In context to PM10 is more hazardous, I mean more dangerous. Now why? It's but obvious, you know why? Because the smaller the size of those pollutants, the easier it is to penetrate in the deeper sections of your respiratory organs. Think about that. If a pollutant size was more than 10 micrometer, those would be just filtered out by your nose or at max by your throat. But if the size of those pollutants was less than 2.5 micrometer, they would just penetrate in the deeper sections of your lungs, alveoli or so. If they enter all those deeper sections, it is, you know, more probable that you are about to face severe health issues. So that's the reason they actually say that PM 2.5 is currently more hazardous and more often they put the AQI score basis on the basis of PM 2.5. This is the only reason. Now why, while I talk about this uh, size of this these pollutants, if I talk about them in layman terms, what does that mean? I mean, if I compare, if I just pluck out my hair, I didn't actually, uh, the size of one particular hair, if I talk about the upper surface area of that particular hair, the surface area, upper surface area, it is approximately 100 micrometers. So if I, if I talk in context with those pollutants, let's say if I talk in context with the PM2.5, it means 40 of those pollutants could be contained in this particular hair of any human, an average human hair. I mean, if it was kind of hollow hair, anything. So if I talk about in context to PM10, it would mean 
10 of those particles would be included in this slick thin hair i mean this actually puts you to think how small how tiny are those particles so it's kind of very easy for them to penetrate into your deeper respiratory organs that's very harmful so i guess this clears up the term pm 2.5 and pm 10 so to end up uh, it's it's not just delhi where the condition is alarming if you see the aqi of noida gaziabad gurgaon kanpur everywhere condition is even worse so it's entirely the northern india which is severely affected right now so the best thing you could do is to get this mask um so this is the only best thing which you could do right now to prevent yourself so i'm i'm make sure to wear this right now as i'm about to leave so before leaving i would ask you guys to like share and subscribe to this channel and it's to know which mask is best suitable for these circumstances click here you'll see the video where i describe where i just put the differences of all those masks and the best suitable mask for you till then bye bye